So we need to build a simple switch box to switch between two amplifiers and one set of speakers. The problem I've got is I have a stereo amplifier that I've recently acquired for listening to music via, but I've also still got my 5.1 amplifier, which is used for listening to movies. We need to switch the front speakers between both amplifiers. So here's a simple circuit diagram I knocked up. We've got amp one, amp two, both going through a two pole switch, output into the speakers. Um, so that's what we're gonna build. Uh, to do this, we've got some speaker connectors. These were three pounds for five delivered from eBay. A little project box. And a rather high quality switch, which was only, I think it was £1.70 delivered from eBay. It's actually rated at 15 amps, so it should be more than adequate. Well, it will be more than adequate. Um, so my plan is, this, the project box that turned up is a little smaller than I thought it would be. I didn't really measure it, I should have done. So it will fit one speaker connector there, one there, one there, and the switch either on the top or on the other side. I'll probably put it on the side actually, thinking about it. So we'll have input from amp one, input from amp two, output to speakers. So we'll have a look here. I think that will work perfectly. So if I'm gonna prepare the box, cut the holes and get the components mounted, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so cuts dremeled for the connectors, hole drilled and base plate fitted for the switch. I pre-soldered all of the positives onto the speaker connectors. So time to fit all this and then wire the negatives then continue with the positives. Okay, so speaker terminals are now fitted. Um, I simply super glued them in and used an activator. Um, worked rather well. Time to wire it all up, install the switch. Be back soon. Okay, so all negatives are shorted out. I decided to short um, all the left negatives and all the right negatives. Um, I believe it shouldn't make any difference if you short them all together, but I did it this way just in case. Um, in hindsight, I should have, I didn't realize there'd be a, so much room in the box, so in hindsight, I should have probably left the positives until um, this stage as well, but not to worry, um, let's get the positives wired up to the switch and off we go. All the positives are now wired in. Um, I've tested it with a multimeter. That's all working, so time to print some nicer stickers with left and right on them, which I obviously forgot I did these. Fix the bottom and put it in to use. So amp one, amp two. Perfect. <laughs> 